Hello church, as you can tell, here I am in the sanctuary. I've been uh, so grateful for so many people who've helped to produce our virtual services the past number of weeks. Uh, but, and I don't need to tell you this, it's just not the same without you here. We look forward to having uh, an opportunity to be together again, hopefully in the near future. Um, although if you are watching uh, this Sunday again, uh, if you want to feel if you want it to feel a little bit more like church, um, just maybe put a couple of empty rows of kitchen chairs between you and the TV, and then maybe it'll feel a little bit more like you're here in church. Uh, I've been thinking a little bit about collect prayers this week. Uh, they've had a really big impact on my own prayer life. And uh, a collect prayer is simply a prayer that's meant to, to gather, to collect uh, the prayer items that the congregation has at its heart. And collects more or less uh, fit a pattern that was developed by Thomas Cranmer, Cranmer um, in the church about 450 years ago in the Anglican Church. And the form of the collect prayer is actually quite simple. And, and we're just going to focus on the first two elements. The first two parts, there's always an address to God uh, and an, an appeal to his character or um, to his actions in the world in the past. And then there's a request. And what I find so helpful about the Colic Prayer is that they intentionally pair uh, God's character and his actions in the past with a present need. So you take a prayer request and then you, you remember that God has acted faithfully in the past and that you pray then that God would act according to his character again. So for example, somebody said to me, um, my investments have dropped more than 20%. So instead of praying, uh, God help my investments make a ton of money. Maybe a, a collect would a collect prayer would appeal to um, the character and actions of God, and so you might pray, uh, providing God, you promised that not a hair would fall from my head without the will of my heavenly Father, and as I feel anxiety about my investments, may I feel and trust that you will provide for my present needs. Or another prayer request was, uh, I'm scared to go to the store. So maybe instead of praying, God, make sure that no one else is in the store today. Maybe a collect would then emphasize instead, uh, ever-present God, you promise to be with us always to the very end of the age. Remind us that you walk with us even when we are scared. Or here's a kind of a shifting gear, slightly different need. Uh, my work is way different uh, than it was a month ago. So maybe instead of praying, put things back to normal, uh, maybe we would pray uh, is, as a collect, Creator God, you made us in your image and invite us to, invited us to imitate you in doing good work. So help us to be co-creators as we implement new technology, and as we shine your light on new and different and difficult opportunities. Now, one final reality to pray about uh, is this, and, and each of us in our own ways has probably experienced this. I'm feeling bored and irritated and lonely in isolation. Now, what if instead of praying, end this pandemic so that my needs are met, what if we prayed a collect? That is, we prayed something like, delightful God. Um, in the person and work of Jesus Christ, you showed us that, that you want us to have life and to have it abundantly. So when life does not feel full right now, please show us your purposes and help us to find delight and to enjoy what you have spread out before us. If you want to pray with us, you're welcome to join us at 7 o'clock tonight. There's more details about that in the email. You can just come on the line and, and listen in. You don't have to talk. The peace of Christ be with you all.